Hello everyone, this is Seraphira, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Uh, so we're picking up where we left off. We can, we can turn the pause off now. So, I believe... Detector. We need to craft a detector, apparently. Um, so that we can put it on the vehicle. Um, may need to take care of these slugs. Eh, you know what? They're a little close. Let's just get rid of them. some spice so we can keep these a little longer. So maybe I'll do that really quick as well. And let's reload the shotgun while we're out. I should probably just get on the motorbike. Eh, it's not that bad. There's one. How many meat do I have? Six. Great. if you could get more spice off of these. Um, hmm. There's three. Oh, out of stamina. Yeah, I probably should have brought the vehicle instead. Is it four? gone too far now. But yeah, I don't think there's... I haven't seen spice out in the forest. I don't know if that's something they changed, or if I'm just, just not seeing the spice out here. I mean, it, is it only in certain biomes that certain things grow now? Um, not sure. I mean, I obviously don't see any spice out here, but that doesn't mean there isn't. I think... his health and food though. I was hoping I could just eat that and get a lot of stamina, which it will do, but it's not um, I don't really want to lose all the health and food either. Alright, so we got a triceratops here. I think there's some spice up there. It just says dinosaur. So 
So, okay, officially I'm still, I'm in the marsh now, and then there's the spice. How much time do we have left on this? Not a whole lot. Another one, I think. Is that the last one I need? Well, there's another one here too. I'll may as well get it. Because we're going to build the base. Hopefully, I can put in a refrigerator so that things will stop spoiling. As my stamina goes down and down and down. Oh, we're going to have to walk a little bit. the base. There it is. Or campsite. It's probably a better term for it, or name for it right now. Alright, here we go. Um, let's make the food really quick before everything spoils, oh, which means I need to put the meat and the spice in here. Two, three, four, five, six stack all the spoiled stuff. Okay, so it wants me to make a detector. Um, let's get working on that. I think... I think it wants me to make that one though. What is it? What do we got here on the quest? Okay, let's look at the PDA. Uh, detector, craft, add. That's it. it. Just says craft and add. There's no real. So we're in the prologue, I guess. I don't... I thought there was a vehicle one. So let's look at this again. Devices, okay. Docking. the uh, the tech tree and go to hover vessel and see if there's a detector there in the there it is detector so it's this big it looks like a ball I guess and it can be made in portable constructor with the yellow, the small constructor, the large constructor, and the advanced constructor. So anything here. And it's locked though, but so we have to unlock it. And we'll look again, see if we can find that. It's the ball that we're looking for. There it is. and it looks like we're getting close to dark again. Alright, let's put this here. Okay, it's so crafted it. And you... I don't see if this says anything about it. Like a D? Maybe I could put it in this spot. 
I mean, it doesn't matter where I put it, really. I just... Yeah, this... Does it... Is it flush on that, or is it sitting? It's so hard to tell. I don't think it's flush. No. Uh, let's put it up top, right behind my head. Well, is that it's bigger than I expect, I guess. I don't know. Is it... Why isn't it going in that spot? Okay, you have completed part two of the Robinson Protocol. With this hover vessel, exploration should now be much more comfortable. Check the PDA for more information and additional health help topics. Okay, yeah, that's kind of floating there. Okay, before we go elsewhere, I strongly suggest to build a sustainable base. There we go. Uh, as a fallback, but also as a starting point for the upcoming adventures and long-range exploration attempts. Um, you should look for a suitable area. I think this is where I'm going to be. Uh, make use of the detector. Um, a base next to resource deposits or even water might be a good start. Uh, to start your own base, you need a base starter block. You can possibly find one in a personal container. If you need to craft one, do so in the portable constructor. After you acquired the base starter block, equip it on your toolbar. Okay. Uh, so we need to make it first base starter kit. Is it a block? It is a block. Okay, so this is what where our core is going to go. And, since we're in the block area, so I don't want steel, I want concrete. Uh, there we go. How much rock do we have? 39. Just out of curiosity, how much... I don't know if I found that. I don't even recall. It uses two stone dust each. Okay. And... Okay, so I used five stones to make 20. So that makes 10. Okay, well... Place it in a suitable location with the left mouse button. You can control the height and distance page up and page down. You can control the distance in your position with the home and end and the rotation with insert and delete. Okay. All right. I actually kind of want it out in the water. We're kind of have going to have the base probably more out in the water than anything else. And of course, it's red. Let's, can we put this down? No. Okay, well, I wonder if I can use... There we go, okay, good, I can't have it in the water. 
I just need to use the home. Where'd it go? Maybe it won't, doesn't like the water. Okay, create a new base. Okay, so it's in the water, but it's just fine. Hopefully that'll help protect it, maybe, versus the Xerax, where whoever's attacking somewhat. Um, additional blocks make either wood, concrete, or steel to increase the width of the base. For the placement of devices for general construction, tip when having selected the building blocks in your toolbar, use the rice mountain to reveal different shapes. Okay, yeah, well, right now we're just going to worry about squares. Uh, for powering a base, you have two options. Conventional, place uh, craft to place a fuel tank and a generator on your base. You need to craft fuel cells or biofuel to power it, or solar, which is what I plan on doing. Place the generator on the cells of your base. Choose either option or use both in combination. Um, I probably will use both in combination eventually. Okay. And I'm not drowning, apparently, so that's good. This is it's kind of hard to see it when I'm under the water like this. Okay, we'll get it surrounded and then. wasn't the best idea. Okay, now we can start building on top of the water. And I'm probably really close to running out of blocks. Okay. But there's our little platform. Let's keep building. Let's just make a ton of uh, blocks. There we go. Concrete. I think if I hit shift, it makes 10 at a time. 10, 20. Uh, let's just make a bunch. Um. So yeah, while that's going on, let's test out the... There's 36 to go, we've made four. Did it? It did, it made all of them, cool. Um, I wasn't sure if it would do that. Wow, heavy. And yet I'm running quite fine. That's strange. that many. I just need to connect up here. I, well, there is... I think there is some structural integrity, so you need to be careful about... Oh, silicon rocket in. Okay. I didn't think anything was underwater.
Perfect. Okay. Um, I wanted to see if we can make some stairs or something to get up here now. Is it a block? It is a block. Concrete. And we're already low on... Curiosity. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Alright. So, the block, oops, the core is underneath there. Just gotta kind of remember where that is. Let's make a few more items here. Let's. Kind of a little entryway here, one, two, and then uh, let's actually put the door over here. Now I can't get up here, can I? One left. All right, how we go doing here? And we're out of crushed stone, so I'm gonna have to. say it gave me. Did it give me anything? I think it just destroyed the block. Yay. Okay, it's not what I wanted. Okay, well, I think if... Well, no, I have the drone. I forgot about the drone. There we go. Man, a whole lot of blocks left. Uh, we'll make a window later. One, two... And we're out. All right, there is the beginnings of the base. We need to, let's see, without needing the rock, if we can make the solar 
items that we need to um, are those locked? No, solar panels, small. Uh, which will work for now, I guess. Capacitor solar. Okay, one of those. Let's go into the tech tree. Go to base and see if we have to, are able to unlock. I have 42 points, got plenty of points. Regular solar panels. Um, efficiency during a whole day influenced by placement. Does it say? It just says efficiency 1.8 and CPU 45. Efficiency 1.0. I would assume that 1.8 is better. And of course, I'm going to need a large constructor or an advanced constructor. Uh, which. I guess we're just going to start out with a small. Um, okay, that's done. That can go right in the entrance, I believe. And we'll make... Let's just start with one. Because eventually I'm going to get rid of you, I believe. When I get the large panels. Alright, well... Well, that's taking a little bit of time. This should fit in here. Oh, I could just use the drone to put it down. Don't need to worry about falling. I think that's fine. some turrets on these little blocks out here. So, okay, F5 again. Now this I want, I don't, I want flat. Uh, next, we should improve your crafting capabilities. Okay, uh, crafting place is small. Constructor can handle more devices and block types than the portable constructor. Join a constructor, you also need at least one cargo box for input output logistics. Both might be unlocked from the base tab in the tech tree at first. Okay. Uh, when equipped to toolbar, use the right mouse button for playing. Some devices have variants. Okay. Um, we're not going to turn the base on. Well, we should turn the base on, actually. Because if we don't turn it on, is it P? No, it's Y to turn it on. There we go. It's on. And now we can hit P. And it should say, where is, yeah, zero consumption, power left. Seven minutes. I don't know what the seven minutes stands for because we're not consuming anything. Um, we've already used 1400 out of 80k CPU. Uh, okay. Um, here's the base attack info. So, no attack from the Xerox incoming. Um, got a 14% chance from the drones coming. So we have a 14% chance of the Talon attacking as well. Don't know if we're supposed to be at war with the Talon or supposed to be making friends with them. I do know. What we're going to do now is I think we're going to use the bike and we're going to go out and find some rocks. I could. I don't actually know if I actually have that the drill yet. Um... Should, well, I don't need a fridge just to, right this second. And I don't know how much that's going to use for power. My pet. 
passing by? No. We just want to come out in this field. Here's some. Lots of ore. This is good, but it's not what I'm looking for. We may as well get a little bit while we're here. getting this while I am thinking about it because I don't know what the constructor is going to need for materials so we may as well pick up what we will probably need. some stone. That's not stone. Okay. Hopefully that's enough resources for now. Lots and lots of... I'm glad that all these resources are out here. It's just not what I'm looking for. Here's a rock. Good. Whoa! <laughs> Well, eat it. I just forty-seven food. Okay, that's good enough for now. Now, eventually, you can make vehicles. And I will probably just use the workshop um, to download vehicles. Uh, fact, while we're talking about that, let's go to blueprints. 
There we go. Um, so, the battle bus is, uh, and the brigand is my vehicle that I made myself. Um, but you can download these from the, the workshop, and then you can just spawn them in base, as long as you have the right materials. Like, there's a, a Millennium Falcon as a, uh, a small vehicle. A vessel, I guess it's called. Um, this one's called a mobile base. I don't, I don't understand what's a mobile base, but um, there's probably items inside, which is what I did with my battle bus. That you can get inside of it and uh, on the inside, and then I've got a lot of create like I don't know constructors and fridges and stuff like that inside of it. Drill sergeant, that's what I'm looking for. So there's probably updated ones to these. Um, but you can get in a vehicle that can mine uh, instead of doing this um, kind of this menial tasks that I'm kind of doing right now. It'll uh, do it much quicker and you can get much more resources, uh, well, faster, quicker. So when I get the parts and get to that point, we're definitely going to be making a mining type vehicle. Stone, 101. That should help with making a lot more concrete blocks for the base. And we're gonna we kind of need to hurry. I don't think we need to worry about getting attacked necessarily, but that time is coming. do we have now? No, that, that should be good. But let's get the last couple things and we'll head back. Now in the past I've made bases that kind of dig into the ground and go underground, but kind of doing something what I did when I originally played it, just made a base out on the water. Um, and if I, if the lake is deep enough, maybe we'll make a little, um, if we're able to, an underground observatory area for just sitting in under under the water type thing. Not that there's really fish or anything swimming around, but just kind of neat to do. Okay, I think we're good enough for now. Let's get on the motorbike. See, the motorbike is collapsed, so I need to hurry up and get to it because it will disappear. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it had 19 minutes left. stairs you are able to climb up the stairs wow he was moving quick was there more than one wow okay all right let's just have a look here at the well Tell you what, while well, it's still working, uh, let's take the rock, throw it up here. Actually, control shift that will make a hundred blocks. And let's see what the base says for power. I know we only have one solar po panel, so. I mean, uh, it says we have near an hour of power left. And of course, we're not consuming anything, but. anyway. So we kind of have a little opening room here. Uh, and I'm out of blocks again. Um, I might make another entrance here. And then we'll move into where the constructor and everything else is going to be. Need a 
lot more blocks. You see the stone underneath better in the drone than I could before. I do want to make an area where I'm going to put a water generator, possibly an oxygen generator as well. I think they both need to be in the water. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I want to come outside to get it or if I want to be able to get it from the inside. Uh, maybe we'll do a little both. But for now, that off. Okay, so we have our entrance way now, which can protect us from radiation if that if I need to get away while we're working on the rest of this. And I'm out. But we have a much larger area here. We'll have to see what the constructor looks like and all that. Let's get out of the drone. Wait for a couple more blocks. So apparently you can make copper and all these just out of crushed stone. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, we need to make the small constructor, which means I probably have to unlock it. Yep. Base generator O2 station fuel tank. What about storage? Cargo box. I do have a cargo box. Here's a small constructor. Uh, 57 points. We're doing really good on points. What do we got here? Clone chamber, food processor, fridges. Uh, we're eventually going to want that. We're eventually going to want these. Okay, what? Good. That's a good. And we're doing good on stone. Uh, let's hit F5 again. room as I would like.
No, shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. so much range. Structures will always return components, but I think I need the multi tool. too while we're thinking about it. Those here. Windows. This is for the base in the capital ship, and this is for small vehicles and hover vehicles. Okay. So yeah, not really much to look at, it's pretty square, but it will get the job done for what we need to do here. We can work on making it pretty later. I made to finish this. Okay, 
got stuff to do for that. So let's just go back to here and put in the doors. to an armor door. It's not airtight. Not airtight. A round door. It's not airtight, but I just want to... What? I thought I chose a different door. Okay. I just want to see what it looks like. has a slight window in it. Oh, I need to rotate again. Let me just double check. Airtight true. Yep. There we go. So that room is now airtight. Let's see if we have enough blocks to finish this off. I don't think I do. Now, we need a few more, and then we're done. Actually gonna go inside. We need some lights, apparently. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some lights. Uh, so let's just use the, the drone since it, it provides some light for me. And um, two point. 9k SU 30k S I don't know what the SU means so I actually just kind of want something I, I know it looks it doesn't have the capacity but it just kind of looks like the building is more alive than just a square box. And we'll put the constructor here for now. And having placed the constructor and at least one cargo box container, cargo box or container, you need to link the constructor to a cargo box or container. Access the constructor with F. I don't think I can do that in the drone. Nope. Okay. Now click the drop down next uh, drop down next to the inbox and select a container to contain the to connect the production logistics. Uh, let's see what else we got. In order to add resources in an inbox container while you are in the construction screen, click the small icon next to the drop down and exits the network. Do the same for picking up crafted devices from the, in the outbox tips. You have you can have different containers for inbox and outbox. Constructor would on, but can pick one. Uh, when you reach a high enough level in the tech tree, you can also craft an expandable container system. You need to craft one container controller and then place it, then craft container extenders and place them adjacent to container controllers. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you can manage all your containers and cargo, even if your constructors within the logistics network step onto your base and hit F4. Well, sure, let's. Uh, whoops. The last addition of the base is some self-defense, either against roaming creatures or nasty enemies. To install a defense system, you should craft a sentry, at least one ammo box, and the appropriate ammo. Now, check the hover info card for details on the control panel, which ammo is required for the system that you placed, for the turret you placed. If the ammo needs to be in the ammo box, the turrets will reload them, uh, reload from there automatically. Okay, so first, 
cargo pallet and it's going to go well equals input so that means it, it's just going to go to the same box okay and speaking of this what do we got so we got 15 minutes of power um, we're not using anything but with the current capacitor with one solar panel that's what we got so let's use our new constructor which will start using power and let's see if we can make a light oh which means I need to go get all of that material from the outside oh shoot I forgot to pick this up <laughs> almost almost lost it okay we can finish the base um, let's just oh, shift that's what I'm looking for now the thing is I probably could have left all this stuff out there um, on this on the portable constructor uh, and not use any power in the base but I don't know I mean, there's a reason you made a base and that's to do things um, oops I want, I want the cargo in there for now okay now we should be able to build some things like the light that I was looking to do okay we also need to look for those turrets are they in here there's one there's a sentry turret I want Let's just start with one. Didn't I open up... Uh, let's look at the tech tree again. Base, and move down to the turrets. That can only be done in the large constructor. Well, it's, it's allowing me to do the sentry gun. So this must be wrong. This, this must have... Uh, it's missing this... Unless I'm making the wrong weapon. Okay, here's the light. And it's probably still working on the sentry gun. Well, let's just put the light. And... Are we out of power? I think we're out of power. That's why the sentry gun didn't finish. Okay, so maybe we'll go take a nap. Um, you can still open your doors automatically there. Okay. So this is probably... There we go. So we've got power to the doors. Kind of. So the constructor is going to keep on using all the power as a solar panel works on that. So let's finish the base really quick. now there, there we have a light how is this coming along I can't tell <laughs> oh we're almost we're almost there um, we're gonna need to make an ammo box and 
And while well, the turret's almost done. Um, I'm probably going to want to make some some sort of weapon towers as well because the sentry guns aren't going to do so hot versus uh, drones that are that will eventually be coming but we're going to need to make a better constructor to do that okay did it finish it looks nope yep Okay, so let's just check out. Okay, we don't have any power left, but the light is still on. Okay, so the sentry gun should be over here. Should be. There it is. Sorry, the ammo box, which means we need to unlock it. Oh, and we need... How much does it say we have any power at all yet? Nope. Well, we'll have to give it a shot. Um, I think it's a device ammo box and we'll wait for the hopefully this doesn't use too much power yeah just waiting on the power come on Should probably what I should probably do is look into another solar panel. Did I passed there it is. Uh, large and advanced. Geez, I'm gonna have to go back out. Oh, that's for the big one. And let's make the small solar panel then. Oh, see, it, they must have that messed up because this says I couldn't, could not make it. All right. Well, we've got, we got the ammo box. Now it doesn't actually have to be close at all. And I guess that's the only option, is this how it looks now. So let's turn it on its side. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There we go. There, okay. Well done. Now you're basically set and the Robinson Protocol is completed. Don't forget to put ammo in the box. Yeah. Uh, you can do it mainly by facing the ammo container and use the F. You can also use the control panel and the fill all button. Uh, so we'll put any matching uh, ammo for your inventory in the ammo box that sends your base. There's an alternative way to building a base or vessel all by yourself. Open the blueprint, select the blueprint, and then add it to the factory. Okay kind of did that by looking at the vehicles a little bit ago. Fill in required materials and wait wait for it to be produced after the production is complete, place it. So let's just 
I mean, I have I haven't, haven't looked at the whoops prologue starting the journey. Uh, you barely escaped the inferno with your life. You survived a hard crash in a battered escape pod. You face the dangers of this unknown world. Now it's the time to find some answers. Okay. So let's look at the blueprints again. Oops, integrated data assistant, assistan apparently. Commander, just for your reference, it's I've been storing our sensor and event logs since Apollon Station in the database. Do you want to review them now? Um, sure. T minus twenty two thirty, uh, Jupiter Outpost, Science Lab. Dr. Grayson. Uh, we just got confirmation. The Wave Rider protocol has been activated. Great. The wait is over. Now let's prepare Dave and the equipment for the final stage of the project. Uh, did you save the latest data for the listening post? Of course, ma'am. Dave is already processing the parameters and adjustments. Good. This will be a giant leap for mankind. Dave? I am already starting the routines, Doctor. Time left. The event will take place in 22 hours and 25 minutes at about 1600 local time. Internal countdown synced. Interesting, this must, this must be something Dave, Dave added to my log. Uh, Commander Seraphira, private log, sending wake up signal. Ouch, my head. <laughs> damn, I'm late. Didn't I see this uh, alarm for earlier? Ah, uh, damn, snooze timer. Loud rumbling noise. Uh, Put that here. And with the Alex incoming message. Uh, Center Alex Lamar. Uh, you've got a new message. Shall I play it? Uh, blurred voice from bathroom, of course. Uh, hey, honey, awake yet? Uh, I try not to wake you up, but they've already sent me over to the Titan for the final checks. Big day today, right? We'll do the anniversary party over here. Uh, Comp Chief's DeVries will come over from the Grand and attend as well. Told me they had something to do with the lab. Your shuttle is scheduled for 1600. So while you're there, remind Grayson and Dawson they will bring a single malt. We won the round yesterday. And don't be late. Don't forget the cake. See you later. Okay. Love Alex uh, munching. assignment opening file commander did not hope you did not forget the captain or your final assignment before you leave for the titan uh, did, did, please check with the quartermaster for your upgrade and suit equipment then please come down to lab a okay and happy anniversary to you and alex okay grayson is that it nope servo can you please check the message holder i'm quite sure there's no new assignments when i was checking the inbox before we went to bed I'm afraid I cannot give an answer. Uh, no logs are available for the spe specified time. Hmm. Interesting. See that everyone's getting crazy the closer we get to the departure date. Uh, even the station AIs. Please lock down the cabin after I've left to make sure this stuff is loaded to the transport shuttle. Goodbye and good luck riding the wave. Wow, I don't know how much how much story we're gonna have to look at here. Um, logging private stuff. T minus seven hours and fifteen minutes. Lab A. Uh, da, 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 da. Code requested. Code Bravo. There you are. What took so long? Hey Doc. Uh, seems like the internal comm has some issues again. Just got assignment out a few minutes ago, so we'll have to look into this mess tomorrow when... Sure, sure. <laughs> Let's get started on something important. Timing is key. Okay. Detecting you saw the new transceiver and it allows us to track a cosmologic event which happens only every dozen years. We want to pick up that signal and investigate the results so the fleet can make use of the data. Okay. Uh, let me quickly check the status. Dave... Our process and request doctor, code access black, door opening, uh, the wa wave array is ready, oh hi Sarah Fira, coming to help us, uh, apparently, so, something you guys wrote, let me guess, cake in the 
the sequencer again. Okay, meet you over the Titan. I have some new code black. Dr. Grayson, the data's been sent to your terminal. Thanks, Dave. Uh, turns out your access permission is required to complete the installation, Sterofira. And while you're at it, lend, lend, lend these guys a hand since you know of the best work on the system. Chikun is down the engine section. Okay, Doc, no worries. Okay, let's um, see what happens. That's where all this started. Okay, I'm gonna hit close. Okay, I firm it off. Continue saving data until you're ready. Okay, I'll end as it for later review. Thanks. Okay, we want this other solar panel. I also want to make ammo for the sentry gun, but for now. See it is a lot bigger. That's what I want. Let's rotate it. Let's see, there we go. Let's just put it next to this one, except here. And let's just look at okay, three three green lights, three yellow lights. Okay, so it should be producing more energy for us. And let's just hit this. Okay, we have four minutes of power left, five minutes of power left. Uh, current output is 0 0.1. Woohoo. Um, Alright, well, we've got the base done. Uh, apparently it wants me to find the station next, but... Um, as I have another appointment that I need to get to, I'm going to end it here, guys. So, uh, again, as always, guys, really, guys, thank you so much for watching, whether you're watching this live or you're going to watch this recorded later. Again, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there was a lot of talking at the end and not really a whole lot of action, but um, base is complete without... Well, it's kind of complete. Um, let's make the sentry guns. It says it uses... Where is it? 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 Where's the weapon or the ammo type? Okay, let's look at here. So I'm going to make the ammo, guys. I'm just going to throw that in the box. Um, I'll do that quick offline. And uh, for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all next time. All right, guys. See you later.